controversy brewing over what a teacher wrote on her personal blog about her students. That English teacher pulled from the classroom for her critical comments online. In a moment, you're going to hear from the teacher, Natalie Monroe. But first, Andrew Canning has the backstory. Natalie Monroe makes no excuses for blogging about her students. I don't think I did anything wrong. In one posting, she called them out of control, rude, lazy, disengaged whiners. In another, she created a list of comments teachers could use on report cards to describe students. Rat-like, dresses like a streetwalker, and frightfully dim. The 30-year-old teacher used the name Natalie M and never actually identified the name of the school in the blog, which also lashed out at other teachers and school administrators. But once word got out it was Monroe, she was suspended with pay. The school superintendent says her complaints were very egregious and certainly could result in termination. Her blog is being investigated. Monroe's actions have now divided a community with online posts in the local paper. Students nowadays are out of control. If she's that unhappy with her job, I think she should quit and if not, be fired. Monroe says teachers enter the education profession full of life and a desire to change the world, only to get the life beat out of them. Now, with no regrets, she says, let the conversation begin. For Good Morning America, Andrea Canning, ABC News. And joining us now is Natalie Monroe and her attorney, Steve Rodner. Thank you both very much Thanks for being with us. us this morning. Natalie, you started teaching in 2006? Yes. When did you start this blog and why did you do it? I started the blog in mm, August of 2009 uh, and I started because my friend said, hey, you like to write, would you be interested in you know, starting a blog, then we can keep up better. So I thought, yeah, it sounds perfect and um, I started it so that I could just communicate with friends and like a diary and something that I was just doing for fun, anonymously for my friends, like seven of them that saw it. So. It was, you know, just like yeah. You say anonymously, but um, you use your first name mm -hmm. and your initial from your last name. There's a picture of you. Uh, you had to think possibly, and, and a student was able to find it. So did it ever cross your mind that, you know, someone from school may see this? No, not really, not ever, in fact, um, because, you know, it was up there for over a year. Nobody ever found it. It was very difficult to find even if you, even if you had it. Mm -hmm. So it was a matter of just, you know, no, I didn't. We see that you're your, your, your <laughs> yes. second child. You already uh, have a child. Um, I, what would your response be if somebody, and I just want to read a, a few more of the things that, sh that you wrote. Um, a complete and utter jerk in all ways, although academically okay, your child has no other redeeming qualities. I didn't realize one person could have this many problems. I hear the trash company is hiring. Another thing you said, there's no other way to say this. I hate your kid. If someone wrote that about your child, how do you think you would respond to something like that? A teacher of all the people saying that. Um, well, again, I was writing it not about anyone specific. Uh, they were caricatures of students that I'd had over the years, things that I would say if we weren't limited in canned comments that were allowed to write and things like that. Um, and again, was partially meant tongue in cheek, obviously, for myself and my friends. It was not for mass consumption. I'm sorry that it was taken out of context, but I, I stand by what I said. From a, a legal standpoint, um, Mr. Rovner, uh, I know you're suspended with pay mm -hmm. right now. Uh, where does the case stand? What, what, what are the grounds? Well, right now, Natalie didn't do anything wrong. So really, until the school district decides what they're going to do with her, um, you know, she, her life is in limbo. And once they make a decision if they're going to keep her as a teacher or, or terminate her, mm -hmm. then we'll, we'll take further legal steps from there, which may be a constitutional case for, to protect her First Amendment right. And she didn't do anything wrong. Some people don't like what she had to write but she's being sent wrote. How do you respond to those people who say, yeah, okay, it's your right. It's a First Amendment right, but you are a teacher trying to mold these young minds, and yes, they can be difficult, we all know, but was it the right thing to do in that manner? I don't know, I just <laughs> think that if it was, if it's gonna get out there, I mean, it was not meant for everybody to see, but if it's gonna get out there, maybe, it, maybe it'll start a conversation that needs to be had. Do you wanna continue teaching? Yes. At that particular school? No plans for, you know, a career change, so I guess we'll see what happens. Do you think it might be a little uncomfortable to be back? It might be awkward. <laughs> Thank you both very much for Thanks being for willing me. to come here Thanks. and talk with us. We appreciate that. We'd love to know what you think out at home. Use your First Amendment right. Shout out on our message board, abcnews.com. But let's get the other developing stories right now. Go over to Juju Che. Good morning, Juju.